Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back. We've got a bit of a smaller party today. Alrighty, so last we left off, you all left off at the town of Ivorydale. You guys had just dropped off an aristocrat. Um, we'll say it's the next day, and you were told to go back to the Adventuring Guild the next day to get your reward. Alright, I think we'll do so. Alright, as you all... Yeah, let's get paid. Huh? Let's get paid. I just realized that you all are probably hearing an echo because I have my freaking headphones not plugged in correctly. I can't hear an echo. I'm talking about recording wise. Uh, Someone say something. I don't know. Someone say something. Something. Yeah. What the? So demanding. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, it was all very pixely in my ear. <laughs> I have that effect on people. Hey. <laughs> Anywho. So, you all go in. You go in, and she is like, nope, haven't gotten anything. Disappointed. Do we cut our losses or do we seek him out? I guess it's worth stopping on the way out, but I'm definitely not staying another day. We need to get to that which portion needs. True. We do have more pressing concerns as well. The sooner we see her, the sooner we can get back. Where are you heading? By the way, we'll tell her where the house. We're <laughs> yeah, while we drop them off. Uh, but, uh, I guess so. if we're gonna tell her, like, oh, we're heading to this person's house to ask for money, and then we're heading to this area on the nation in general. Yeah, in case she's got any information on it. Oh, well, good luck in going to the Uncharted Lands, but I'm. Um, in other matters... I think it was to the north. Huh? I remember the witch wasn't in the same town as this guy. It was just on the way. No, no, no. She was commenting, because you said on another point in the nation. She caught that first. Now she is... Let me finish what she's about to say. She's like, well, since you're heading up towards Cogdale... Is there any way you can escort someone up there? A woman. Is she as obnoxious as the last one? That sounds unlikely. Uh, I... Don't follow. I think, I think we'll be good to do that. She's so looking for someone? her sister. Who she believes right. is in Cogdale. I'm sure that'll be a com that will have absolutely no relation to what we are doing. But good enough reason, anyways. Anyway, she just this time. she just needs an escort to the city. All right. Very well. When does she want to leave? Uh, as soon as anyone's able to, actually. Let me go and send her a message. If you would wait here for maybe a hour or two so that she can gather her things and get here. Seems reasonable. Check out the guy and come back within an hour. Do you think that would that work as well? That would be fine. 
we'll make sure to be back by noon. Very well. Let's go. Let's, let's go give the stairs butler a reminder. Perhaps he'll pay us on the spot. I guess we'll head off. All right. As you, I'm, all right, as you go towards uh, that rich guy's house, which I forget his name, uh, Lathanor, yeah, Lathanor, um, you see that there are guards posted outside of the main gate. We were wondering if we could, if we could talk to the man who who manages his financials. We were we were hoping to get paid before we had to leave town. I don't know what you are referring to. We, we escorted Lavendor to this town from the um, University of Skills. Oh. We, we were told we would receive pay payment at the Guildhouse by, by today, and it did, did not come through. Oh. Did you not get the letter? Well. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> You won't be getting paid. Uh, that sounds a bit unfair. We had a contract. Any particular reason? Oh, well, he listed a ton of reasons. The guild Where approved it this morning. Okay. His request to deny pay. If I were you, I'd speak to them. Well, well, okay. We'll walk away at least temporarily. Mm. All right, where do you want to go? At least we can talk to each other about it without being literally right in front of this guard. Yeah, you guys can go like a block, block or two down in the middle of like the street, or you can back into like a somewhat, like the entrance to like an alleyway. Well, that's annoying, but sadly I don't think worth our time. No, I think it would become a very long and drawn out process to try and get payment out of that one. But it may be worth us asking for half payment up front from the next one. So we're not completely out of payment. Yeah. I just hope that, uh... <laughs> we'll build, we build up enough <laughs> good graces that this, doesn't, that this doesn't give us trouble getting jobs later. That'll be a bigger. I can't imagine that one doesn't have a reputation for being difficult. I doubt anyone will take him too seriously. It's not like we had much of a reputation before this anyways. Exactly. So we'll just head back, maybe ask a question, but not linger on it too much. Okay. Alright, we'll head back to the guild house. Alright, as you head back, you can see a 
tall and slim elven woman stand like standing outside of the adventuring guild hall um, she has a bag that is packed she has backpack on and it looks like she is kind of struggling to get in Heck okay. I'll offer to carry something. Be, be like you, you had into Cogsdale? That. Oh yes, I am. Grand. We'll, I believe we'll be taking you that way. Oh, why fantastic! <laughs> I need to get there sooner rather than later. Of course. Let's go, let's go inside and finish anything you need done with the good, with the good. Oh yes, right away. You guys go in. Uh, at the front desk, the front desk, the woman at the front desk goes, Oh, I see you've met Sine already. Sinet, this is the party that will be escorting you to Cogsdale. Knocks a dip about. Oh, very lovely. Do I need to do anything? Oh no, you're all set. You guys. Another question. Did, did you receive a letter for, uh,. What did, what did we call ourselves? I can't remember. Oh god, I don't remember either. Ask. Wait <laughs> one second. I'm going back. Pretty <laughs> far. Cause it's before this. It was before this. Where'd you guys even sign up again? University of Skills. No, it wasn't there because no. they just got oh god, in. No, it was... We it was... Didn't we sign up on the Yule event? Yes. That would have been before the That was our first the commission. Heist. I'm looking. I don't have it. Darn, I don't have it. Um, what do you want to name yourselves? We'll wreck her on it. What do you want to name yourselves? I have no idea. This is a different <laughs> think on that. Did we get a letter? Yeah, we'll come back to it. Okay. Um, maybe I'll find it by then. Uh, <laughs> she goes, not that I'm aware of. Interesting. Let me go and okay. ask in the back, though. And she kind of disappears behind the desk for a little bit. And then she comes back and says, oh, yes. You all were the ones who escorted him. Does he have a reputation for being yes. particularly difficult? Yes. Yes, he does. Don't worry about it. Um, I'll sort it out. Thank you. 
I can't do the payment though, but I will sort out the other things that will happen because of this. Much appreciated. The reputation impact would likely be worse than the loss of pay. Oh yes. Especially since he's the Duke's son. Well that explains a lot. Yes. Why he would go through the adventuring guild and not through his father is beyond any of us, to be honest. I see expected such clean behavior from warriors. He's a brat. Yeah. The he is. He expected us to supply him with everything as if he were his staff. We were only hired to escort him, not to provide transport and lodgings along the way. Definitely yep. expected him to have staff. But... Oh well, yeah, not yeah. worth our time. So, not worth either, either of our time, miss. Is that right? Let's get you to Cogsdale. One day, it will bite him in the ass, but until then, he will remain the same. Anyways, have a fun journey. Um, around this time, I would probably take the river. Is that so? I believe you. Is it? safer on this side of the mountain. Well, the river normally calms down around evening, so it should be a pleasant dry, a pleasant little drift along. I would just get out of the river by, by dawn. Any particular reason? Uh, the rapids pick up. So, wait, they pick up with the time? Or is there a place called Dawn? No. They pick up with, like, day and night. Kind of oh, like waves. Okay. It's a fucking hotel. Well, Knox would turn to the client and say, well, if it's okay with you, we'll travel by river until the morning. That is good with me. And... Right. Off to the docks, get books. Off to the docks. There's no docks. I mean... There must be some piers or something. We we need a we need no. we need boats. The river is a like wolf? a day away. Oh okay. Yeah, the river is along your path, which is why she mentioned river. it. But there's no river attached to the village. So could we get there by nightfall? Uh yes, you can. Oh, that'd be perfect then, because then we can travel by night and then rest on the gal for the other end. Mm-hmm. All right. We should leave with all due haste. Okay. Okay, so we head out. Casual talk. So, Miss. Tell, tell us about this sister of yours. I get bored easily and could use a good story. Oh. She is adventurous and cheeky. She likes to get into mischief a lot. Sounds like a fun woman. Yeah, until you have to clean up her messes. Well, we used to have a 
team member who sounds like that. Oh, and what happened to them? Probably best not to dwell on that. Why not? She looks at you innocently. Object, cursed objects multiple times. Judgment wasn't his strong suit. The devil's work. I know it well. But do not worry, we will get you to Cogstad as soon as we can. That is fantastic. You reach the beginning of the river at sundown and you start to see as the sun descends the river is getting slower and slower as it flows easy enough seems to be widening looks around to find see if there's any rafts or boats that we could use uh, there is a small wooden rowboat um, on the shore that looks to be abandoned. Does it look like serviceable? It does. There so are... how are we putting this with the fact that um, obviously two of our party members aren't here? Are we going to say that the rowboat's big enough for everyone? Or... Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, whatever it is, it's the exact right time. Um, yeah. So there are a couple <laughs> holes on the bottom of the boat. Uh, not too large, but you could definitely service them. Okie dokie. Either of you two able to fix this thing up? It would be very convenient for us. I don't think I have my idea. Uh, what, what exactly is uh, needed here? Uh, would proficiency in uh, land vehicles help? Okay, sorry. Yeah, land vehicles, no. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're pre if you're able to patch up a wooden wagon, you might be okay to patch up a wooden boat. Uh -huh. I would think that that's like woodworker tools. Yeah, I'm looking at the DM here. Uh, would that uh, would that work, or do I need to roll for something? I'd like to give it a try. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, what would I have you roll for this? Uh, what about that control stat you made up? That's for something else. I would, I would say wood, woodworkers' tools make it like a strength or con. Um, or strength or dex. I would say strength, but also add your proficiency if you're using tools. Plus three to this, I guess, or is it the plus two proficiency? Uh, is, is that what you're talking about? Uh, no, add proficiency to it. 
Oh uh, yeah, then it's a uh, seventy. Okay. Yeah, you're able to fix up this boat enough that it floats again. Yeah, the boat seems like it's uh, it's workable. We can uh, we can start when everyone is ready. You're right. Catch going to casually start tying a rope to his chest into uh, with a good bit of length and then tie that to the front of the boat. All right. Knots would be ready to help manipulate the currents if necessary. So it looks like it'll be fairly easy going, so we may just use it to give the boat a little extra speed to cover the journey faster. As um, Senate approaches, she she um, kind of like uh, goes up to the boat, and I assume Knox are already in it, and she goes, Would you help me enter? Yeah, it uh, extends. his... I suppose his hand would probably look quite strange to her, but he would extend his hand out to her. Yeah, she grabs a hold of your hand to like kind of like balance herself with you, and she gets into the boat and she goes, "Oh, this is lovely." I'm glad you approved. Nice with the fresh air. The no. It's... Do you wear your hood anymore, ever since the whole, the, uh, devil character development? Um, he doesn't wear it around the University of Skills, but he's still wary when he goes out and about, so as not to tra attract too much attention. Okay. So I'd say he's got it up at the moment. Because obviously as a whole... I to go wrong, miss, but, yeah, I get it. Uh... I don't expect much to go wrong with, but this this way I can at least fly to help if, if things start, start getting heated. And a good reason to stretch your wings. <laughs> of course. <laughs> he stretches, kind of showing off. Also, this, you mind pushing us off? Yep, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do that, and I also uh, stay at the steering once the boat is uh, mm -hmm. on. As the boat goes along, it goes gently along the river. Um, Knox gives it a little extra speed, but it's still kind. It's still like a calm thing. It's the river's sort of wavy, so you do kind of have to make adjustments a lot, Solvis, as you're doing it, because it's kind of a bit wavy going back and forth. But for the most Part, it's very calm and chill as you're going along during this night. Once the dawn starts to set in, you notice that Nox, your boost, you notice you guys are going a little more faster than before. Um, he would shout up to Keck and say, see if you can cite us a place to pull in. Keck, I'm going to have you make right. a perception check. Is it any help that I'm high up? Uh, yes. I just make a standard perception check. Eighteen. All right. You immediately wow. find a safe clearing that's big enough for Knox's house as well. It is off to the side, about two paces away. I see one, and Keck will just fly towards it. And uh, Knox just. Any, uh, any uh, 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 Nox would manipulate the current to slow the boat. And as you guys reach to the shore, 
Uh, did you guys take up the boat at all? Yeah. yeah Keko will pull it up out of the water. Yep. It so looks you, like he's gonna, he's gonna like drag it, and then he like gets underneath and just lifts up the thing once people are out. Yep. You uh, heave up the boat, and you can see as the dawn is kind of coming up, as the river just gets quicker and quicker and quicker, and the rapids start forming. Whew, it's a good thing we got out of that river in time. Is this normal for rivers? Hmm? Is this normal for rivers? Uh... Ordinary rivers? No. This river, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Curious that this river that this river is affected by the tides. Yes, they say there's a gem. Legend has it that there is a gem at the at some point of the river, and that it was betrayed by the sun, and so every time the sun shows its face. The rapids, its anger towards the sun will cause the rapids to flow. Interesting. Legend. Well, it's, it's just a legend from actually. the village. I'm oh, sure there's there some magical thing going on, but old wives tales and whatnot. On this world saying I'm saying there's some kind of magic involved is the equivalent to saying like oh, I'm sure science has an explanation. <laughs> Have people tried to seek out this gem? Oh many. Um they mostly die by not keeping track of the time whilst being under the water. The river is actually quite deep, which makes it kind of a death trap if you get dragged in. Yes, I can well understand. Do you know anything about uh, what exactly the item uh, does what does this the uh, gem do? Oh, does I don't know. Like no one thing? really knows if it is a gem. The legend just says it is. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to make a history check just to see if if I know anything uh, from before. Go ahead. Who got the guidance? Well? Uh, you do not know. Oh, anyways, I think it's time to get a little bit of sleeping up all night. Well, if you could hold on just a little longer, I can make sure we have somewhere else a little more hospitable for this. Oh, that would be lovely. Kek, okay, if you would keep her company while I work. Of course. Because he obviously doesn't want her to see too closely what he does, just in case she knows it for what it is. Uh, Chris, do you know if this work? river did this, has been doing this all, all the time, or is this a recent development? Well, I don't know. I mean, ever since I was little, it's done this. Because you haven't heard of, like, oh, it, it didn't happen when your grandparents were little. Oh, no. Um, I have no clue. I did not know my grandparents. 
sorry if I touched a sore spot. Oh, it's no worry. They were killed during one of the goblin raids about... Oh, I don't know. 200 years ago? Goblins do seem to be a near universal problem. <laughs> yes. Although they've been quite reserved lately. I wonder why. I've seen them doing weird things. They huddle around and, ma and make camps larger than they have in the past. Hmm. I wonder what they're doing. They're not bothering towns or villages anymore, I can tell you that. Most towns and villages have forgotten about goblins being a problem. <laughs> what is in that thought bubble of yours? Just bubbles. <laughs> no thoughts, only work out. Oh wow, where did the house come from? Oh. And Magic. Knox would open the door and gesture inside, use the thermaturgy to light uh, the lights. Oh wow, this is fantastic! You're a lot more appreciative than our last guest. Well, it's not often that you get to leave town. Especially for just a common woman like myself. How long have you lived there? Oh, a hundred years now. And you don't often leave? Oh no, I don't have the finances for that. Just leaving today took nearly selling my home. Knoxwood visibly look shocked. Yes, with the taxes, everything's gone downhill recently. Is that because of the Duke? Oh, well, there are several Dukes and Duchesses. I'm. The village we're going to right now is run by the Duchess. Um, she's a little more fair, but the Dukes are kind of battling it out amongst themselves in terms of wealth. Um, the Dukes of Ivory Dale is not the wealthiest, nor do they have the largest town compared to the Duke of Rodsworth. They have a much larger town than Ivorydale. Ivorydale has kind of gone into a rut since the Duke decided to raise taxes again. I see. I remember the wealthy flaunted was rather unnecessary. Yes, well, he's got his own troubles, I suppose. If it were up to me, though, I'd move to Cogsworth in a heartbeat. But the Duchess must approve of you before you move fully into her town. I hear she's quite a bit strict, but she is also fair. I am hoping that she will accept me. Another reason for doing this trip. Threats you worried about along the path? Oh, You're going so far no. as to hire guards. Um, there shouldn't be any guards. It sh there shouldn't be any trouble. Maybe just some wild animals. 
But even so, if I come across any wild animals, I'm not proficient with any sort of weaponry, so I'm not very helpful outside you know of a city. Oh, fair enough. Do you know what it is your sister sought out this way? Oh, she moved out there, I want to say about 50 years ago. Uh, she wanted something fresh and new. Uh, she had been saving for a while with her job, and she left. Things were good. That sounds like it's just a long while. Yeah, now that I've decided to move out to Cogsdale, I'm seeking her out once more so that she could help me um, sort of land on my feet. Good for you. Thank you. Alright. What are you all doing out here? Oh, we, were, we were told to meet with an old woman in the area. Oh, and who would that be? Knox would sort of give Keck a slightly hesitant glance. And then shrug. Rem remind me as a player, why, why were we told to go see her? Uh, she like sent she... a letter to the cat lady. Okay. Saying so she wanted to see us. Yes. So, and we've heard her referred to as the witch. Do we have a name? Uh, she didn't refer... I don't think I... Nope, I just put it in my notes as the party. I don't think there's much, there's much need to hide here, and I can just be like, well, I don't, I don't believe we got a name. We got a letter from someone who, with the, her friend referred to her as the witch, and it was just a friend of a friend saying we should visit. Oh. I've never met the woman. Do you mean the traveling witch? Oh, yes, that was it. Oh yes, she is a lovely lady. She stops by every now and again at my old job. Maybe I'll see her again. Friend, I, I had to just assume she was a fan. <laughs> it flicks with a smile, but <laughs> honestly, we don't know too much about what she, what she wants. The last time she, she left, I believe she mentioned that she was going to do some research in the Uncharted Lands. If she's back, then that would be a good thing. Not many wow. survive the Uncharted Lands. I think the university wow. is going to do some research there soon. Oh, I would, I would be you. weary about doing anything there. People die all the time, I hear. And if not, then the savages will kill you. Nothing trained warriors can't handle, of course. Oh, probably not. Instant but I would still be careful. You okay. never know what, what they would be willing to do. Why do people die there? Many reasons. There's very dangerous cliff faces. Uh, ground could come right up under you from other hostile monsters that live within the grounds. Um, there are groups of people who hunt and kill everything that moves. Um, many reasons. Perhaps still a worth our time to have a scout there, just to see, just to assess what's going on. Perhaps, but mm -hmm. not much happens. 
They are truly uncivilized. Well, for the time being, we are merely seeking information for help. Well... Where would you like to sleep? We have this room this way, and this room this way. Oh, I would love to sleep in the bed, if that doesn't bother anyone. No, of course not. We can sleep in the other room. Oh, why, thank you. And we'll do so. Right. Oh, yeah. We all think that the house is fine without an active watch. Yes. Cool. As the day goes on and the dawn starts to go into afternoon, for afternoon tonight and tonight to dusk. And as dusk goes down, you all sleepily wake up. I'm not used to this inverse schedule. Okay, it says drog, uh, drogally. It suits me just fine. It is a loud yawn. It's the wide beak. Just... <laughs> Maybe I'll just sleep five more minutes. Good morning, everyone, or good evening. How are you all today? Very well. Did you sleep okay? Quite comfortably, actually. That hay, that bed was very comfortable. Knots would look notably quite smug. <laughs> Getting cocky over being my fine craftsmanship. <laughs> Knox made everything in this building. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Because so only things. stuff that I make by hand can be shrunk down. Wow. That's how it works. Takes a lot of time. Oh, I All guess right. we should start going now. I believe we should make it to the to the diverge today. From there we'll have to we'll be right at the city. Really gets up. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Lazy pose. And then he walks out with his shoulders slumped. And as you all leave, you all load up the boat as Knox is shrinking down the house again. Bring him down the house. Doop, doop, doop. Um, and you all board the boat again, going down the river. And this time by morning, you actually get through the, to the diverge, and she goes, Oh yes, veer left, veer left, over towards the dock over there. And you can see a couple of docks along that back half of the river. You will be going against the stream a bit, but there are docks there. Yeah, and that's where the mini plane current. And as you do so, you get off of the boat, and you are now in Cogsdale. Cogsdale is pretty similar to Ivorydale. Except for the fact that these buildings are mainly made out of wood instead of stone. 
Um, in fact, the only stone you can see is being used as a foundation. Most of the houses here are made of, uh, are made of all wood. common is that across the across their nations um a lot of a lot of times it's more of a combination however okay. coastal towns seem to be made more out of wood than stone um but throughout the world um buildings are kind of made out of more of a combination where like the first level will be made out of like stone and then subsequent levels will be made out of wood. You're a dwarf, but you said you didn't grow up with others. Did you live in stone walls? Oh, mostly. Um, only newer buildings are made out of all wood. Most of the buildings, though, in Ivorydale, where I lived, were very old. So the first level always had stone to them. Quite well in the summer, though. Um, kept us very cool. In the winter, eh, sort of a little too cold some days. <laughs> Where does your sister live? Might as well take you, the, take you the whole way? Oh, no need. You should get to the witch before she leaves. They don't call her the traveling witch for nothing. Anyhow, I can do it from here. As she, uh, she goes through and rummages through her pocket, and she goes, here you go, for your trouble. And you receive... 15 gold total. So, Nox would be astutely aware of the fact that she said she sold her house for this journey and would feel very guilty about taking that. Uh, she kind of sees that body language and she goes, Oh, don't worry. My house sold for more than that. X just excited about money because he, he can already picture the things you want slowly building up. <laughs> she goes, it would love the journey with all of you. And she kind of waves point. to you all as she's as she walks away into the distance of the town. So that was a successful contract, don't you? Oh, he's favorite yet. <laughs> Shall we be off? Yes, I think we should keep moving. As, uh, as you then turn around from the entrance of the village, and head more towards the coast um, side. It takes you about half a day, but once you get there, you get to a small wooden cottage with some smoke coming out of the chimney. You think knock on the door. door. You knock on the door and you see a woman answer the door an orc woman about seven foot tall bulging muscles and as she looks at you she goes oh you're the guests right in this way it just smiles back and thumbs up to the to the group in the back door just talking about, I wonder if this is the place and Tech is already knocking. <laughs> it's like, and he starts going inside. Madame, they are to... here. The orc woman kind of shouts up to, 
uh, past you all as you enter. What were you about to say, Knox? Um, just that he would be pleasantly surprised to see someone of a height that he could look levelly in the eye. As you all enter, the orc instructs you all to sit around a table uh, in the kitchen. And as you all sit down, you can hear, Oh yes, I'll be there shortly. And you hear someone approaching, but you do not see them. And then you see someone climb up upon a chair and you see a three foot tall halfling woman who goes, ha, ah, just the people I wanted to see. Yes, we received the word. Nox? Let's say we received word through a mutual friend. Yes, yes, I sent the cat lady a letter a little bit ago. I honestly stayed here a bit longer than I thought. But I thought I'd better stay and see too that you get my message myself. Trouble is a brewing. If you have not realized it already, the Demon Prince's locks are being broken one by one. We have witnessed the breaking of more than one. Yes, well, these plans have been going up for a long, long time. Have you noticed that wild animals have been attacking less and less? Goblins attacking less and less as well, multiplying in their own villages instead of going out and seeking conflict. That cannot be good. It is all to do with the return of the Demon Prince. When he was first here, his army spread around the world like wildfire, controlling every aspect of everything. We are at the conundrum that this might happen again. And to think we all believe the demon army would left when the demon prince was taken out. Oh, we were so ignorant and wrong. What could defeat a demon army? Well, Another army, for one. There's not much that can withstand an entire army. But I do know that their numbers were few and far between. If I recall, only the generals remain, but they lay in hiding. The Uncharted Lands are teeming with dangers. And someone is behind it all. Dangers? He was not a general of the Demon Army, but he is a formidable foe now that he's aligned himself with the Demon Prince. He lives within the Uncharted Lands, more so towards the center, in a 
ginormous, big, dark castle. Oh, well guarded is this castle? Sorry. Solve this first. Mm -hmm. Yep. I was asking how well guarded is this castle? I will say not very well guarded, but the one inside is very powerful. I would say he is even more powerful than I am. Maybe even more powerful than the cast lady. What if you and the cast lady join us? Without him? I'm sorry, repeat that. I was asking if uh, you and the cat lady would join us in fighting. Well, that is the plan, but the Demon Prince is more of a priority than him right now. With only two keys, with only two locks left, we need to find the group that is responsible for doing this. We do know that they are residing within this world, and that they are going to and from this world to where the locks are. We just need to find them. It's a group it's a of five idea. individuals. But that's all that we've got. Five? Like... Generals? No. The generals are demons. These five can blend into normal everyday life. They've evaded us as we've tried to find them. The only good thing is that the last two locks were hidden very well. Do you know where the locks are hidden? No one does. I don't think anyone alive does. The only person who I knew who knew the location of some of the locks that were more well hidden were Yen Sidric, but he is well gone now. And he took that knowledge with him. And good riddance that information is. Well, clearly not to everybody. Yeah, if not three to everybody. So many of the locks are broken. Yes, well, that was the only one who I knew who knew anything. But there might be others. Who knows, even the one within the castle might know the locations of the locks himself. Which castle? The one in the center of the Uncharted Lands. Oh, okay. Ooh. Psst, Nox. Psst, Nox. <laughs> yes? You're forgetting something. <laughs> what am I forgetting? Big, dark castle. In the middle of the theocracy of the saviors. In the Uncharted oh, Lands. Oh, from his memories. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was in the Uncharted Lands. I just knew it was a big dark castle. No, I believe I told you it was in the Uncharted Lands. I had it written down as in the Uncharted Lands. Lands. My memory. <laughs> I, I think it was vaguer when I think it was more vague when you told him. Yeah, it was, it was pretty like, vague. I remember being in a castle. Yeah, it was like flashback. Pretty vague. But, as she continues to talk to the castle, it sounds more and more familiar to your memory. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> there we go. So... 
I suppose Knox would just have a growing um, visage of concern on his face. What is wrong, dear? Um, so, was this the castle where he was? Or was that a different vision? No. No, you're thinking of the right one. I believe I've been Oh. When? Um, Heck will also look mm. curious, like, <laughs> I haven't been there. <laughs> no, this was before I met you, before I was at the university, I believe. Do you believe? That was... Do you not it... have memory of such occasion? Not fully. Oh. I can show you what I do know, if you wish. Why, yes. And he would extend his hand like he did mm -hmm. uh, with the cat lady. And you go through the whole thing, you uh, go into her subconscious, uh, you'd show her your memories and such, and then you'd come back out, and she'd go, Wow, very, very piecemeal, I might say. Your memory. So, yes. I'd like to tell Solis that Keck actively pouts while they're, while they're doing mental stuff without the two of them. <laughs> and he would. Um, he said, Well, I am more and less than I was. I so see. Had an impact on my mental state prior to that. I've recovered parts, but not the whole. There were rumors at the beginning that there were originally six who were unlocking these locks for the Demon Prince, but after so long there have only been five of them. You might be a sixth, but back then everything was contradictory. I would... Uh, I hate to say this, but I think your best option is to go to that castle. I had a feeling you would say that. Well, I really hate to say this, because the aura coming off of that place was much stronger than any aura I've ever felt. Demon aura? Not demonic, more just straight up power. I imagine they've had a long time to gather that power unchecked. I'm sure they have, which is what concerns me with having you go there. Obviously. And you also said that they received something from the Demon King as well. Right. I don't know about that. But I can tell you one thing. The Demon Army is growing. The growing in the shadows. Wow. No one's caught on to it yet. I have alerted some nations, but none of them take me seriously. Perhaps we could spur the headmaster to reach out for the, to them. They may take him more seriously. And he shares our concern. He has a lot on his plate right now. I really wouldn't concern him with this. Do you really think we should be waiting until he has free time to discuss it? I don't think we should discuss anything. I'm saying we should just go for it. I believe we did already ask permission to go to the Uncharted Lands, though not for a specific purpose yet. 
seems like a good, good, good destination. Indeed. Well, that is a long way to go. There is but... another issue. One that you all discovered in the theocracy. The other castle? Or the demons? Actually, there's a long list of things we discovered in the theocracy. Involving the Pope. His scepter, more exactly. And the crystal within it. Yes. It must be brought back to safer hands. Well, he's controlling an entire nation with it. That'll be no easy task. No, it won't. As well as the fact that the closer you get to it, the harder it is to resist it. I've already fell prey to that once before. You are also a different case. Ruga? Yes. Are you ready to remove it? Hmm. <laughs> Nox's eyes would go a little wide like, <laughs> wait, what? In order for you to go back and to go back safely, we would have to remove it, the gem in your head. He would sort of audibly gulp, but nod slowly. My only issue is it's quite deeply rooted now. I'm sure I'm more resilient than you give me credit for. I hope so. I've already been taken apart once before. Alright. Are you willing and ready to do so? He would sort of pause for a moment and glance to Keck and Solvus and then back to the witch and her companion and nod. Is there Action anything you need to do? by a large orc woman. Although he then, although he then comforts his friend once, it, once given a moment. Alright, I will need your two help to hold him down as we can't sedate him. Let's just get back. I think we should have saved that gold for now. As... <laughs> as the orc goes and starts to cut down your chest, she goes, No, 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 not down the chest, you fool! <laughs> no, and it sort of, like, taps his head. <laughs> sorry. You're not giving me great confidence here. And she goes and she slices open a bit of your forehead and she goes in with some tweezers what the fuck shit is that there's a fucking fly okay in my head no no no, no. it just hit my hand no, and it freaked me the hell out there, but... no, no no that was fully in real life it the fly like flew directly at my hand and i went what the fuck is that because I've been having, oh, personally... Please tell, me that. please tell me that happens during surgery. No. Personally, <laughs> I've been having that problem. I've been having a problem with wasps. So I thought it was a wasp at first, and so that's why I freaked out of it. Because I was hoping it wasn't a wasp. <laughs> also, Kex got to hold his head still. So I have to imagine the easiest way to do that is a nice headlock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, you, um, just use your hands. She, 
puts in her fingers into your head and she pulls out a jet black gem and she goes oh I did not think this was here as she puts it down on the floor Nox goes slightly cross-eyed looking at it as, as it comes out uh, as soon as that happens uh, I use uh, channel divinity if he loses any uh, hit points then I restore it. yep 12 yeah, I, I restored all of that. And she goes... I knew my brain was a tiny black gem. She goes, well, this is interesting, as she pokes it with, like, a stick. And she goes, this was not what I was expecting. Hmm. Can he sense any difference within himself or any power coming off of the gem? You can sense power coming off of the gem. Uh, you sense a deep-rooted evil coming from the gem. And you recognize it as sort of demonic. So, how would that make him feel? That, this, hmm. It seems like your memory is more gone than I originally thought. This is not the gems that theocracy has available to them. This is a I demonic gem. That. I believe that was placed within the tower and not within the theocracy. It may have been beyond the theocracy's capabilities to deal with. This is... So they may have left it much, much more beyond what the capabilities of the theocracy has. They Wait, don't even have the, access to this. Do you have demonic power then? No, this is... Hmm, how can I put this? This is more for tracking than anything. But it's demonic. It's not the same type of gems that the theocracy has access to. There's whilst are dark, are a deep rooted purple, not black. This came straight from one of the nine hells. As for how you got it in your head, that well, your memories are more gone than well, anyone's. So, who knows when this happened. I know I was merged with a tiefling, but I don't know if that would have had anything to do with that gem. No, it that wouldn't have. Child. Tieflings, whilst gem being mistaken as oh. demons, and whilst living in one of the nine hells, mainly, they're not demons, essentially. They are kind of like normal people. I misunderstood. She's gonna reach for the gym. She's gonna smack her hand and goes, No, don't touch. No touchy. What? Not should really be the only person touching this. Who knows what's gonna happen? Nox has had it within him for, well, a while now, so... If Nox could sort of sit up a bit, he would uh, extend his hand, palm up, to see if she'll hand it to him. If who will hand it to him? If, well, if it's holding. They, they use, like, tweezers to pick it up and then, like, put it on the table. Yeah, or it's on the table. Oh, okay, so he again. would... She's like poking it with it. a stick on the table, is what the traveling witch is doing. <laughs> Hover his hand over it and see if he could summon the tendrils to probe it. You see like as the, the tendrils kind of latch onto it, and as it does, the crystal gets smaller and smaller 
and smaller, and then it's gone. Tell me you're not going to have to take that back out again. I have no clue what you just did. That makes two of them. Do I feel any different again? Uh, you do not at the very moment. You do not. Uh, I want to do something. I want to use my spell uh, locate object and uh, just focus on the description of uh, well, so fo focus on the image of the uh, of the uh, of the gem and uh, see if it is there uh, within yeah if it is there nearby so i i have more of a dm question because i don't have the spell in front of me yep. if this if the object let's say you were looking at like an iron bar yep. if you then use that iron bar to make a dagger would yep. you be able to still locate that iron bar within that dagger The well, iron bar. You, 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 yeah, you. It's totally you, a DM you, question. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, say yeah, yeah, that you can no longer there. locate the gem, then. Okay. 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 That's cool. Like, that's yeah, like your question. Question. I'm your magical. Yep. I. I would. I would just. Uh, uh, go ahead and tell Knox that uh, I think uh, I, I do not sense it anymore and maybe for now it's safe. Maybe it's not there inside you. Mm. Well, my intent wasn't to destroy it, so the fact that it vanished does not give me confidence. But I feel that I may be more on the control side now. For no double checking surgery. Yeah. Well, actually, it's not that much I can restore you again. Are we removing a wing? So we just we need to move. Alright, okay, we're removing a wing. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um <laughs> What were you gonna say, Kek? So the the next move is to head into the for for uh the uncharted lands and try and find this castle. One or five people in it. Is that correct? Is that our next move? Yes. I believe so. All right. Um, and because I cannot move on without everyone here, uh, this is going to be a nice, quick, short session, actually. Unless we want to do anything else, non-story related. Um, that seems far enough. Very story related. Why'd you roll a deception check? Okay, got a net 20, guys. <laughs> Yay! I rolled a nat one earlier, <laughs> so <laughs> there we go. We come full circle. Anyways, so since this is going to be a really short episode and more of just divulging information, um, that's going to be it for us. So we will see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye.